Sorry about that interruption. I got rudely interrupted. That's one downside of living in a house. You know, you constantly have to live deal with other people interrupting your recordings. Kind of like how Dipper and kind of like how Seuss, kind of like how Dipper and Ford had to deal with the Stan and his friends, Stan and Mabel wanting to watch Dr. Dead. But anyway, I digress. So I was talking about, you know, how Dungeons and Dragons is fun. And yeah, like it was satirizing and also making fun of Dungeons and Dragons at the same time. And so again, like we were making fun of like the instructions and stuff. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like a broken record, but I need to get my track back. But it also, you know, celebrated like the imagination and the creativity. Like, you know, you can create whatever you want, what anything you think of comes to life in this game. And I like how Stan gradually discovers that. Like, you know, he starts out just a uh, shield of shielding. And then he's like, wow, cool. And then they just gradually get creative and magic. And that is the fun of Dungeons and Dragons. Is that you, again, it's like you can create whatever attacks you want. And you can have fun with it. And that is so much of what makes it enjoyable. And I'm glad the show celebrated that. It's like speaking to that. I'm surprised Mabel didn't summon something girly like a pony or something. Because I was thinking, because I saw a pony in the trailer for Gravity Falls Season 2, so I thought maybe they'd do it this episode, but probably another one. The only weakness in this episode, I thought, was the satire of the fans and, and the show itself, which it wasn't bad. In fact, it was kind of funny, but I feel like they did it a little too much. And not only did they do it too much, but they, it wasn't, it was very over the head. Like, the reveal of Doc Tech deserves, like, okay, we get it, you're making fun of the show. Like, you don't need, like, you could have just had it be any reveal. You didn't need it to be Doc Tech's brother to make fun of it. I mean, I appreciate the effort for it, but this wasn't as clever as something like... Avatar The Last Airbender when they did the Ember Island players. But even then, like, I'm really reaching. I mean, this was still a really entertaining and funny episode, and that's more than I can say for most children's shows. I mean, the fact that I'm vlogging about it this much, I think, really speaks to the show. So yeah, do you play Dungeons & Dragons? And if so, comment below, let me know. As always, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, The Stand Sharing Candy. Until then, take care.